Hi there, welcome back to the new video. And in this video, we will going to talk about the model tuning. So let's first understand what is model tuning. So model tuning is a process of experimenting with various parameters of algorithm to get the optimum model, which is giving good results without overfitting and underfitting. So this is the definition that I could come up with uh, based on my experience and here I have a question alert for you as well which is a very frequently asked question especially if you are a beginner as well as in case of experience because the the interviewer may want to check whether you really know what is overfitting as well as underfitting the counter question may be that what is underfitting so in scenarios like those uh, you really need to understand what is overfitting and underfitting and if you have seen my previous video you are well very very well aware about what is overfitting and underfitting but in a nutshell i will just tell you that overfitting is a process when you you heavily rely on, uh, or you train your data so much on the training data that and does not uh, expose it to the real world data or the unseen data in that case model gives you very bad output when whenever you are predicting it on the unseen data whereas underfitting is that you are not exposing or you are not training your model enough on the given features that it is not able to extract the knowledge or it is not able to learn the knowledge so both the instances are bad if you try to uh, force your model to learn so much by let's say even adding more and more features or we have been talking about the tree the season trees then you are creating more and more branches then in that way it is a case of overfitting because the more branches you have the more granular result you will have that means you will be training your mod model so much on the training data that it has a it will be a very difficult for the model to get the knowledge or to give you the right output or the predicted output when you are exposing it to the unseen data. Similarly, if you are creating not enough branches, that means you are just stopping after one or two branch, let's say at the number of rooms that you have or the age of the property, but not to the other factors like uh, the uh, crime rate over there, the population status over there, which is a lower status population, then you may not get the right output when you are exposing it to the unseen data. So these are the cases of overfitting and underfitting and it, these are the very frequently asked. And I will just show you one chart over here, which is again a very simple chart as you can see. So I would just like you to assume that on this axis, which is a Y axis, you have error. And on this axis, you have the parameters. So model tuning, as I said, is a process of experimenting it various parameters of algorithm. And within these parameters, we basically provide different values. So for example, you have the max leaf node as one of the parameter in the tree, which basically says that how many up to what level you want to go in the decision trees when it comes to, you know, creating the leaf nodes. So in that case, as you increase it, you know, your error tends to go down. And after, you know, a particular level, let's say after 5 or 10, you know, the error goes up. So what your process is basically to find this optimum level up till where the error rate is going down. And then, you know, see what on what parameter or value of the parameter, whether it is 10, 20 or 50, on which parameter value you have the less error. And this is basically your sweet spot to to basically give it to a model based on the training data that you have so far if you are having more what happens when you have more uh, points then in that case your error again goes up and uh, it's, it's also one of the cases of overfitting however if you don't give uh, enough features or enough uh, parameters then it is a case of underfitting so let's see this in the in the uh, python so if i just come out and go into the decision tree so so far if you have seen uh, if you have followed my previous video this is basically a case of uh, overfitting where our data 
was predicting the our model was predicting the exactly the values which were given in the training data because we were training and testing the data on the uh, or training and testing the model on the same data whereas in case of this we have divided the data into the train and test values as you can see and we could see that there are some error which is coming when we are testing the value with the help of the mean absolute error metric so if you have not watched this i highly recommend that you watch it and i will just create a couple of more rows over here so that i can work it through so the first thing that we need to do is basically uh, we have two ways either we can automate all this process of parameter tuning which is a preferred way of an advanced user but since if you are starting the learning or in a process of uh, understanding what is model uh, parameter tuning then we will just go step by step so that you can understand how you need to do it so let's go ahead and see model underscore 10 equals to decision tree regressor and in that if we see the parameter we have something like max leave node is one of its very important property so what we'll do is as the model name i have given i will say max underscore leaf sorry max underscore leaf underscore nodes equals to 10 and let's execute this so now we have initialized our model with the max leaf node equals to 10 all right so let's try and see this so model uh, we, we need to basically fit the model model underscore 10 dot fit x underscore train comma y underscore train i'll just make sure that these values x underscore train and y underscore train is uh, having the same name x underscore train and y underscore train yeah they are so x and y both are capital i'll just change this otherwise it will throw an error so it has given us an output and uh, what do we need is basically the mean absolute error and i'm just combining the prediction and testing so what i'm saying is um, model underscore 10 dot pre predict predict what uh, x based on the unseen value which are in the x underscore test and this is my second parameter the first parameter will be y underscore test so if i get the output i get 3.83 now the same process i need to repeat so i have started with 10 and if you see over here 3.65 and over here with the max leaf node we have 3.83 so let, now let's try with model underscore 20 equals to same process deci the season tree regressor max underscore leaf underscore nodes now i'll try with 20 and model so it has changed from code mode because i pressed some toggle toolbar change to markdown code it was just doing some processing over here that's how i got it if you are wondering how i got it so toggle toolbar so it will be removed now um, i just need to fit it the same process it's just that uh, so you can understand in one or two iteration that when you loop you just have to loop through these 10 20 30 40 values right so now if i just say mean absolute error y underscore test underscore comma model 20 dot predict x underscore test now we get 3.56 so if you see 3 point from 3.83 error we have reduced to 3.56 so 3.56 is even smaller than the default value so that means we are at a right path so this is the benefit of model tuning let's see what happens when you try to reduce it further is this season tree regressor and max underscore leaf underscore notes let's try with 30 and after that what we will see 
uh, what we need to do is simply model underscore 30 dot fit x underscore train y underscore train if we execute this and uh, now i will say mean underscore absolute underscore error and now i will just simply uh, provide the y underscore test comma again the model 30 dot predict x underscore test let's see the output still some reduction so as you can see the more and more node we are adding to it you know we are reducing the accuracy so one more iteration i will just try is model underscore 100 let me try with 100 and uh, i will say simply decision tree regressor max underscore leave underscore nodes equals to 100 and uh, what i need is basically the fit model underscore 100 dot fit x underscore train comma y underscore train and after that what i need is simply the mean absolute error which is based on y test and model underscore hundred dot predict and in that i need to provide the test values of x so in that case now you see the error rate has increased 3.61 so in case of 3 point as compared to the 3.47 which was up to the 30 parameters or when we have the max leaf node as 30 the error value was 3.47 but as we have increased the value to 100 you can see the error has increased so that's what i was basically talking when i was showing you this particular chart that up to a particular level you will see that error is decreasing but when you increase the parameter value the error will going to increase and that is what we have just observed this right and now it's a simple process that uh, we need to basically pass on all of this value the 30 or 10 or 20 into the into some sort of uh, list which we can pass it on to a function and then use it so let's try and automate this process so we will start with nodes for nodes in let's say 10 20 30 40 and maybe 100 directly and after that colon if i enter so once we have this what do i need simply first step is that we have this model underscore no model underscore or we can simply say just the model and uh, this season tree regressor max leaves node equals to nodes right so first it will iterate through 10 then 20 then 30 then 40 then 50 then what do we need is basically the fit model dot fit x underscore train comma y underscore train and after that what we need is the mean absolute error if you remember once you have fit you need mean absolute error so what i'll do is i will simply say print mean underscore absolute error based on y underscore test comma model dot predict predict what based on x test so once we have done that i think uh, the this simple code should work fine and give us the print as i could see here so 3.83 from the node 10 from node 20 it is 3.56 further improvement from node 30 further improvement 3.47 but as we reached the 40 it is 3.61 and as i reached 100 directly it is further increased so a sweet spot is 30 in this case so this is just one thing or one parameter tuning but you know if, if you see the model over here you have uh, minimum numbers of split minimum sample leaf max features and 
I think there is something max depth, how depth uh, you want to go. So there are like a lot of things that one can do once you really understand your problem and this, this particular algorithm. And this way you can tune your parameters as well as automate your parameters to so that you don't have to do all of this. And the further tuning or the further improvement that you can do is simply create one function function based on these values where you can pass on your data and uh, then basically pass on the data or pass on the parameters based on what are all, how much you want to automate and then you will get the output uh, you know whenever you want you don't have to write the program again and again also you can share it with the community or share it with the fellow developers to to basically help them so that they don't have to write it or you can make your own library of out of it so that's about it i wanted to show you and uh, let me know how you feel it in the comment section and uh, yeah uh, if you like it go ahead and hit like and uh, share it with your friends and colleagues and i'll meet you in the next video